hey guys it's some two codes thanks everyone for the 2k plus subs i'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the video so for today's video i'll be showing you how to design a music app ui in android first of all special shout out to james from vietnam he requested i make this video So start by creating a new project or a new empty activity. For me, I'm creating a new project, name music player, click next, choose your SDK or your OS version, click next, choose empty activity, click next, then next one should be finished. So why? It takes its time to start up. It's always best to get all your assets or all your icons, things you're gonna need for your design. I've already gone ahead to download the things I need. I'll be adding a link to the description where you can get uh, all the icons you need for this project. Now, there are so many Android devices out there and they come with different uh, screen pixel densities. So Android adopted a method whereby it saved one image with different sizes. Now the ones that are smaller are shown on screens with low screen densities and the ones that are higher are shown on screen with higher densities. Now you can see one, uh, one picture here or one icon here having two different sizes. Of course the higher one will be shown on a screen with higher density. So that's why you have different drawable folders. Anyway, let's continue to go ahead and copy this and paste in the resource folder of my app so i can do that by going through android studio right clicking opening this rest folder then pasting that folder i copied here now i'm just going to copy all the drawable folders in here now you can see i have those icons inside there already then I'm going to copy this picture. Now I'm just going to paste this one in the drawable folder. Just drawable folder. Because I want it to look the same in all the devices. So I'll just paste that in the drawable, just the drawable folder. Okay, so I'm going to head back to my Android Studio. And I'll make sure I'm using the text um editor now uh, i think the new android studio comes with a constraint uh view so i'm just going to take that out and replace it with the relative view now you can use different parents you can use a linear layout you can use a relative layout now the reason why i'm using this relative layout is because i want the image to be as a background because the relative layouts uh, just stacks views on top of each other, except when you specify that it should be below um, below a layer. So since I just want this image to be at the very bottom and the other views to be stacked on top, I use the relative layout as the parent. Now I'm going to go ahead, the other views are going to be in a linear layout, which is going to be directly on top of the image view that I had there. So I'm going to color this layout uh, white, then I'll add some transparency to it. So we can still see through to the image underneath there. But the next thing we need to do is to add card view now to do that we need to add a dependency for that so you head over to your build gradle file and uh, go ahead to add your card view dependency and this is the way to do it you go to file go to project structure then under the dependency tab click on the plus uh, icon there then you look for where it has a card view dependency there now, if you're conversant with uh, 
type in it you could go uh, go on and uh, type it or you could use this method now i'm going to add another dependency which is the design dependency for android so this two uh, works together to help us create some new material designs in our android apps so i just uh, let's arrange my stuff a bit and when you're done we're going to head back to the xml and add the card view now i've seen there are so many ways of uh, not actually so many i've seen two ways uh, this could be done but uh, in this method i'll be taking a slightly different approach now to get a rounded card view is uh, pretty straightforward you create a square uh, what that means is your uh, your width and your height should be the same uh, size and then you'd you'd uh, you make the radius or the corner radius of the card view to be half of what the height and the weight is so here i have 220 so um the radius is going to be of course you've guessed it uh, 110 so that way it will form a, a circle now what i'm going to do is uh, kind of um, a bit different is to add um, a card view in a card view some of you might not uh, approve of this but i'm going to just do it i'm going to add a card view in a card view i'll make one smaller than the other and what that will do is uh, the bigger one would uh, will give you like a ring around the, the smaller one okay and in that smaller card view uh, there is where I'm gonna add the image view so I have an image in the smaller card view and then the smaller card view is inside the bigger card view the bigger card view just uh, gives you that uh, look of or uh, there's a round ring around it uh, please on uh, your own time please make sure you think there are other ways to do it online if you search you should be able to see how to put a ring around your image and make it circular but in this tutorial this is how I'm gonna do mine When you're using this approach and when you add your image view you'd notice uh, it's not rounded now you can see how that looks on a real device when you test it out i'm going to be using my phone and then i'll share the screen now what happens is uh, in android studio the image won't render as a circular image till it gets to a real device which is of course where it matters so you can see in a real device it's uh, rounded and you can also see the ring uh, the ring effect that we achieved with uh, the two card views so the next thing we need to do is of course add the text uh, the song title and the artist name let's make a few changes now we're going to do that uh, just under the bigger card view just going to add a text uh, text or the text view just have to fix the orientation for that uh, mindful of your orientation in uh, using linear layouts so we'll just add the text view you can go ahead and quickly do this i'm gonna speed up the video a little bit I'll just go ahead and test uh, on a real device ok 
okay so we can go to the next thing we need to do we need to add those icons now i'm going to use a linear layout to arrange them horizontally now i'm going to create a new linear layout to make sure that the orientation is horizontal and i'm going to add my views image views and my source is going to be those icons we copied at the beginning of the tutorial so i can just uh, copy and paste this paste it uh, three times and uh, change the sources copy again and paste now by default uh, linear layout they assume their orientation is horizontal but i'm just gonna put it there then we we'll need to align them to the center well instead of doing that uh, let's use weights now using weights helps you to divide a layout or share a space within a layout according to like a ratio per se so if i'm to assign um weights to these three image views here and tell them that oh for each of them your weight is one that means whatever size uh, that the parent gives to them they will share it equally uh, same way if i were to say okay let one of the image views have a weight of two while the others have one uh, it would uh, make um, one of them to be a bit bigger so i'm going to try that out so i increased uh, the space of some of the image views uh, the space that they occupy by increasing their weight and that will take up more space of the parent view let's play around with some padding here and there give it some margin i think this is good enough now the next thing we're going to do is to add the sick bar under now we need to add a linear layout underneath the linear layout that houses those three images now switch to blueprint view i don't know if that makes it a bit better so we're going to add in a linear layout underneath the linear layout that houses those three images so remember the orientation is going to be horizontal the width i want it to cover the whole width then i'll go ahead and add my sick bar add a sick bar then add and add a text view now i want the sick bar and the text view to share the space given to them by their parents i want the sick bar to take most of it so i'm going to give its weight as four and uh, the weight as a text view as one now the reason why i'm using four and one is uh, the parent view i specified that uh, the weight should be five i think i messed things up okay i think we are good I'm going to add a little bit of padding. Uh, let's see, the padding doesn't seem to do what I want. I'll just use margin instead. I can get rid of the padding I used earlier. Just uh, leave it with margin. I'm gonna see how this looks on a real device. Looks good, good enough. I think uh, we should be almost done. I'm just gonna play around with the colors of the sick bar. We can do that by changing the tint colors.
ね。So here you can decide to choose any color you want.、Um, apply the changes and see what happens. You can see the progress color itself has changed. And I also change that,、uh, that big dot s color. So I'll go with white for the progress. And this is up to you. You could、uh, use any color. I'd like you to use a、uh, different color from what I'm using, different images, and all that. Now, to change the, the dots color, I need it to be similar to the play button. Just check for that. Now, I'm going to change the thumb tint to something similar to the play button's color. Let's add a little bit of margin to give it some space. Now, after this, you must have guessed.、Uh, we just have、uh, I think one more thing left to do to add the repeat and the shuffle button. Now, the same way, I'm going to add the linear layout underneath or below the,、uh, the linear layout I added for the sick bar. And this is orientation will be horizontal. And、uh, I want the two image views inside to share the parent、uh, space equally. So, therefore, their weights should be equal. Okay, I think we are done, or at most almost done. Here you can decide to add some padding, add some margins, you know, to play around with、uh, the spacing between the layouts if you wish. Now I want to push them all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to go up to the parents that houses all that and、uh, add bottom to each gravity so it centers everything at the horizontal and it sends all of them to the bottom. Now, you just play around,、uh, play around what you have, add margins to make it look good. Now, one more thing I would like to do is to、uh, take away that action bar at the very top that says music player. I don't like it there. So, I'm going to head over to our manifest file. And for this very activity, I'm going to ask it to,、uh, to like, adopt a new theme or a new style for it. And that style is not going to have an action bar. So, I'm going to create a new style. Now, this is red because I've not created any style. I told you to pick a style from styles, but there are no styles there. So, I'm going to go back to styles. I'm going to create a new style. I gave the same name which I mentioned in the manifest file. And this is where I'm going to define that it shouldn't have the action bar and the action title. And this is, it good,、uh, this is the way to go about it. Windows action bar should be false and、uh, window the title. Let's see whether it is. No title should be true because, of course, we don't want a title and we don't want a bar. So, when I try this out in a real device, yep, it's gone. So, this looks clean and、uh, that should be all. So、that's the end of our video for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please、uh, leave it at the comment section. Or anything you'd like me to do next,、uh, also please leave it at the comment section. And also, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to get updates as I update them. <laughs>